Hi everybody, today we will take a grammar lesson about a sentence versus a fragment. You need to know what are the component and uh, what are the main parts of a sentence to be able to recognize and differentiate between a fragment and a sentence. Sentence versus a fragment, sentence must include three main parts or three main descriptions. Number one, concerning the meaning, it should give a full meaning, thought or idea. So a sentence gives a full meaning, thought or idea. It has a complete structure like subject, verb, object or subject predicate that will help to understand the full meaning of the sentence. You will be able to know that who did what and for whom and when. What is the main um, idea of this sentence? Just like normal sentences, starts with a capital letter and ends with a period. So, sentence are simple statement, gives a full meaning, includes all parts needed. Let's have some examples. Who wrote the screenplay for the movie? So you know, who, this is a question. Who wrote the screenplay for the movie? They are waiting for you. They are waiting for you or your friends are waiting for you. So you have a full meaning, you have subject, verb, and object. You have a wonderful drawings full of interesting details. You have wonderful drawings full of interesting details. So here, you have a full meaning behind this sentence. And you will know the difference when you read a fragment. A fragment simply is an incomplete sentence. The fragment is an incomplete sentence. Um, it doesn't give a full meaning. So incomplete sentence doesn't give a full meaning because it lacks something. It lacks a subject or a verb or a predicate. And you need to know that a predicate is the verb plus what's after. A complete predicate is the rest of the sentence starting from the verb. So a fragment, incomplete sentence doesn't give a full meaning something missed considering the structure there is a main part missed um, either the um, subject or the verb or the predicate in general let's have some examples the screenplay for the movie okay who wrote it is it there is it missed you didn't know besides there is no verb in the sentence and a sentence cannot stand without a verb number two Wonderful drawings full of interesting details. Okay, so what? For whom does it belong? Who is the owner of these drawings? Okay, so you need to tell the reader or the listener what do you want to tell him about. And here, there is no verb as well. Walk into the park. Who's walking to the park? There is something missed. The subject is not there. Went to the mall. Who went to the mall? So here, in example number three and four, there is no subject, so there's something missed. You're asking yourself some questions. Who's walking to the park? Who went to the mall? So that's how the fragment is. Something is missed all the time. So it doesn't give a full meaning. Let's have a simple checkpoint. Write S for sentences and F for fragments. I used the yellow highlighters. I use the yellow highlighters. This is a sentence. You have a full meaning. Always seems to be failing down. Always seems to be failing down. He always seems to be falling down. So here, guys, F fragment, because this sentence doesn't give a full meaning. Let's have more example. Doesn't understand the question. Doesn't understand the question. Who doesn't understand the question? So this is a fragment, clearly. So he doesn't understand the question. Ellie doesn't understand the question. So the subject is missed. Running down the garden. Running down the garden. You don't know what's running down the garden. So water is running down the garden. Now you fixed the sentence. I mean, fix the fragment to make it a complete sentence. Walk into the park. Walk into the park. Who's walking to the park? You don't know. Ali's walking to the park. Alex is walking to the park. 
They are walking to the park, so the subject is messed. The flowers in the garden, okay, what's wrong with it? Are they flourishing? Are they dead or not? So the flowers in the garden are flourishing fast. Or the flowers in the garden flourished fast. So now you have a full meaning through this fragment. Okay. Are my best stories all of all times? Are my best stories of all times? What is the name of these stories or series? You can add a subject. Harry Potter are my best stories of all times. Okay, so you need to mention the name of a story, novel, series, and so on. So you need a subject simply. Here, who wrote the screenplay for the movie? Who wrote the screenplay for the movie? This is a question and it gives a full meaning. A question and you need to prepare yourself to the answer. No need to uh, be puzzled or um, confused. So simply sentence is very simple and easily understood, but a fragment gives more confusion in the sentence. So be careful in comparing between both of them and I advise you to figure out the verb. Since you have a verb, you can figure out where is the missing part. And sometimes the main verb itself is missed. So you need to be careful. Okay, this was a very fast and brief uh, summary or explanation for what is the difference between a fragment and a sentence. In case you have any comments or questions, please leave your comments below the video. Thank you and see you in the next video. Goodbye.